When Barbara Hunt traveled to Morocco a few years ago, she came back with a recipe for lamb tagine she thought would be perfect for her award-winning restaurant, Boardwalk Bistro. So the restaurant's owner and sommelier handed it over to her chefs. We put our little flair on it, and now this is the lamb tagine we got. This, day, this dish right here is a savory, spicy, sweet dish. Um, I can't tell you the secrets that I put in my marinade, but I will say the special seasonings. We're gonna go a pinch of garlic. We're gonna go another two pinches of ginger. Mix that in. We're gonna go with my spices. We're gonna go cumin, turmeric, paprika, fresh coriander, cilantro. Can't forget salt, pepper. And then I'm gonna put some of the secret harissa paste that I put in there. Nobody knows what's in there. Two pounds apricots, two pounds medjool dates, two pounds calabina figs, and then I'm just gonna throw just a little bit more coriander seed in there, and we're just gonna let that simmer for about 15 minutes in its own juices, flavors. Mmm, that smells awesome. We sell from anywhere from 10 to 20 lamb tagines a night. The people love it. The same way they love this San Antonio hotspot since it opened as a deli in 1988. Then two years later, Boardwalk Bistro converted to a full service restaurant, serving casual lunches for the local business people and Mediterranean style entrees in the evening. To help keep the menu dynamic, Boardwalk Bistro employs a lunch chef. We have smoked salmon, petite crab cake, and Gulf shrimp. And a dinner chef. There's nobody who cooks duck in this town better than David. And I have many regular customers that can testify to that. The food's consistent every, t every time we come here, no matter if we get the seafood or uh, beef or chicken, it's always good. Always a nice atmosphere. So. Three words, almond crusted snapper. Two more, Barbara Hunt. A world traveler and wine expert with a degree in dietetics, Hunt opened the restaurant as a vehicle to share her passions. It's loaded with seafood, which is very healthy and that it's a kind of a vegetable driven cuisine and there's lots of fruits and nuts and it's the way that I like to eat. Oh yeah, just getting the color. That's that Mediterranean color right there. That's what you want. Mediterranean cuisine, it's more than just a diet really. It's a lifestyle. It's all about savoring your food. It's about sharing your meals at leisure with friends and family and wine is a basic component of the Mediterranean diet. Cheers! Cheers. So I will begin with a lighter red wine here. We can almost do anything as long as Barbara says so. And uh, she likes us to use seasonal ingredients, fresh, fresh fruit. We use uh, fresh Texas grown eggs. We use uh, fresh liqueurs in all of our sauces. What's great about the bistro, and I think um, why people like it so much, is we get a little bit of everything. In the oven for a couple minutes. We have people who want to experience um, our five course tasting menu. I have been coming to the bistro for the past 15 years. What I like is that they have, I've seen their, their maturity come through every time I come in their menu. Um, they have the best selection of wines, in my opinion, in San Antonio, and the best pairing of food with those wines. Well, I love to cook, but when I come here, I find things that I would never cook at home, and they're fabulous, and the, the chef always comes up with something new. He's very creative. We love what he, what he does with his food. We love the wait staff, and we love the entertainment they have here, our favorite musicians perform here and it's just great. We um, have strong ties to the local music scene, so we have a lot of customers that come for our live entertainment. We don't settle for less than perfect and you know we when we have a menu for a few months and we feel like our regulars you know want to try something different we challenge ourselves to come up with a entirely different menu that makes us strive to be better that's what you want